Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Elizabeth Grana. And I'm Jennifer Escobar, and today is October 27, 2021. During this month, we recognize breast cancer awareness. Our school has been a great support during this time and has even donated to the Breast Cancer Foundation. Here's Emily Castañeda with more info. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a month dedicated to supporting and raising awareness for those fighting against breast cancer. Many people may not realize how widespread of an issue the disease is. One in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. The White House was illuminated pink on October 1st in commemoration of this month. Both the President and the First Lady are urging regular screenings as early detection increases survival rates. At Braddock, there's been no shortage of support this month. For $2, students can wear pink on Fridays and show their support for the cause. All the proceeds will be donated. You can go beyond awareness and take action. If you can afford to, make donations to breast cancer charities. You could also purchase products whose profits benefit cancer research. If you know someone living with breast cancer, try checking up on them. Breast cancer is a difficult journey, but there's always hope. This has been Emily Castaneda reporting for Braddock TV. Hi, my name is George, and welcome back to Braddock TV. For this Halloween, we're going to show you how to make pumpkin pie French toast roll-ups with yours truly. To begin with, you're going to create your pumpkin pie filling. The first step being pumpkin puree. Now you can skip these steps if you purchase processed pumpkin pie filling from your local supermarket. But in this instance, we're going to make everything from scratch today. So, after you've poured about 3-4 to four tablespoons of your pumpkin puree, you're going to grab your half cup measuring cup and fill it with white, granulated sugar and pour it onto your pumpkin puree. Finally, you'll grab your pumpkin spice and add anywhere from 1-2 to two tablespoons to complete your filling. You will then mix your filling into a smooth and much darker mixture, and after generous mixing, you will finally move on to the next step. Also, a side note is that adding your sugar and pumpkin spice and puree is based off of preference totally. Now, you'll put your filling away and grab your white bread, and you will cut off all of the crust on your slices and begin to flatten them to just about the thickness of a quarter. You repeat the process a number of times based on your serving size. Next, you'll evenly spread a generous amount of your filling all over the slices. You will then pinch the corners and firmly roll your bread into these so-called roll-ups and then repeat this process, and in this instance, four times. Now you'll make your egg mix. With about two eggs and what I believe to be approximately 60 milliliters of whole white milk. And you will stir until there is no bits of egg whites left. To prep, you'll butter your pan and put it on medium to high heat. And dip all your roll-ups into the mix and fry them onto your sizzling pan until evenly brown. You will plate your roll-ups, sprinkle them generously with cinnamon sugar, and finally, try it. During this month, we also celebrated Hispanic heritage by recognizing their accomplishments and what their culture brought to us. The World Language Honor Society has decided to host a trivia game for their members where they can win special prizes. Now we introduce the World Language Honor Society with their Spanish trivia game. Buenos días, mi nombre es Alisa, soy la vicepresidenta de World Language Honor Society y hoy estaremos jugando un juego de Jeopardy en donde tenemos cuatro estudiantes de AP y cuatro estudiantes de ACE competiendo. Tenemos cuatro temas y cada estudiante tendrá 10 segundos para contestar las preguntas. Si no lo contestan en 10 segundos, le daremos la pregunta al próximo equipo. Y de premio le tenemos Starbucks gift cards de 5 dólares. Ahora comencemos. Um, ¿Cuál tema quieren? Cultura. Cultura. Ok. ¿Quién quiere escoger la pregunta? Gracias. ¿Dónde se encuentra el Museo del Prado? Ciudad de México. Ciudad de México. 
incorrecto. Madrid. Correcto. Ahora, ¿cuál tema ustedes quieren? ¿Quieren conocimiento general? Conocimiento general. ¿Escogen una pregunta? ¿Cómo se llama el río que divide México de Estados Unidos? Incorrecto. Río Bravo. Correcto. ¿Cuál tema ustedes quieren escoger? Conocimiento general. Menciona el nombre de una de las maravillas del mundo que se encuentran en Sudamérica. Machu Picchu. Correcto. ¿Cuál tema ustedes quieren coger? Literatura. ¿Quién es el autor de Los Zapaticos de Rosa? No tengo idea. Yo sé. ¿Qué sé? José Martí. Correcto. Sí, ahora se está ¿Dónde están situados los pulmones de la planeta? Amazonas. Correcto. Ah. ¿Sí? ¿Ganaron los estudiantes de AP? Ahora les compartimos las tarjetas de Starbucks. Felicidades. Felicidades. Speaking of trivia, we decided to do our own game as well. Students around the school have been asked questions about what they know about fall. Here's Angelina Rodriguez with Fall Trivia. Hi, I'm Angelina Rodriguez, and today we're going to be asking people based on a Halloween trivia. What's your name? My name is Diego. Alejandro Bermudez. Kenneth Wu. Diego de la Peña. Uh, Matteo Trezzini. My name is Abel Cardoso. Okay, so the first question is, how many types of pumpkins are there in the world? Um, I'm gonna guess like 690. Uh, I got no idea, maybe like four. Probably more than a thousand. Six. I would say about a hundred. I'd say a solid 38. How many pounds of candy corn are made every year? Maybe four tons, I'd say. I know this one, it's uh, 1,230. Okay. And 31, <laughs> to be exact. Yeah. Say about a million. A lot, like 10,000 plus. Mm -hmm. 277. People eat a lot of that, so um, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with 10 tons. Is pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit. I would say it's a vegetable. Fruits got seeds and pumpkins got seeds, so I'm gonna say fruit. It's a fruit because it, it has seeds. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll say it's a vegetable because it grows from the ground, mm -hmm. personally, personal belief. Well, vegetables are plants that don't have seeds, so I'd say it's a fruit, even though it's more like a vegetable than a fruit. And the last question is, what's the name of the killer from the movie Scream? Ghostface. It's Ghostface. Um, that was Ghostface, right? Uh, Ghostface. Mr. Scream. <laughs> okay, so there's actually 150 types of pumpkins that are in the world. Wow. And there's 35 million pounds of candy corn are made every year. It's close. A pumpkin is a fruit. And the name of the killer from the movie Scream is actually Ghostface. Ghostface. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. <laughs> Our Bulldogs have been absolutely crushing it out on the field. We have shown other schools that we do not play around when it comes to winning. Here's Catherine Valdez with more on sports. Good morning, Bulldogs. It has been an exciting few weeks for our teams here at Braddock. 
Our football team experienced their first season win on October 8th against the Ferguson Falcons. Evan Alfonso scored the game-winning touchdown, leaving us with the final score of 32-30. It was a memorable night as we celebrated the team's seniors, giving recognition to all the hard work and dedication they put onto the field. They carried their winning spirits to their next game on the 14th, beating Varela with a score of 31-27. to Unfortunately, the team lost against Westminster on the 22nd. They fought until the last second, ending with a score of 22-28. to But their season isn't over yet, so make sure to show your support at their next game in the GMAC playoffs. Our girls' volleyball team had a great season, being one of the best they've had in a couple of years, according to some of the players. They started their season off with a win against South Miami on August 26, winning three sets. They faced some difficult teams this year, but were able to beat over half of them. Many of the players have said that they have amazing chemistry with each other, and it definitely helped with the team's dynamics. They had their annual pink game against Varela in Southwest on October 12th. Though they lost against Southwest, they were able to beat Varela, winning two of three sets. The pink game is important as all proceeds go to charities raising awareness for breast cancer. The team ended their season with an unfortunate loss against Palmetto in their district tournament with a score of 1-3. to three. Though the season is over, let's look forward to next year and what the future may hold. In dedication to October, we decided to host a little competition of our own. Pumpkin carving is one of the best things about fall and we even engaged some teachers to compete against one another. Here's a pumpkin carving competition hosted by Braddock TV. Hi, it's Issa, and today in the studio we're carving pumpkins. We have two teams led by complete beginners, our friend Angel and Mr. Quintana, assisted by Ms. Frakes' pumpkin carving team, and Mr. Server, who carved the pumpkin as well. They'll have 15 minutes to carve beautiful pumpkins, and what's this one? Love the, our friend Angel, <laughs> not our friend Mr. Quintana. But okay. <laughs> Our friend Angel and that guy. Okay. Nope. There we go. Okay. Mr. Quintana, you may not know this. He's a Renaissance man. The Mongols. Are you? <laughs> the Mongols have pumpkins. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I failed the test. You, you did not so. fail the test, Angel. I got it. The test failed you. Are we good? Yeah, we, we got it. Here we are. Hey, look at that. That's good enough. The big ones. Yeah. Hey, eyes first. Yeah, or eyebrows. You do the eye. Maybe you, you want to build up some confidence. Uh -huh. This is bringing back memories of Quintana and his father yelling at us for uh, not being handy. They don't give. They don't give classes of this at FIU. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm doing it again. You got time. I'm, I'm, I just saw what Angel was doing. I'm doing alright? Yeah, you should see Angel. He's struggling? Yeah, he's doing the math. I think, that's the math. Yeah, well, I'm not sure what that is. Hey, you can see what's going on here. He's got an eye out already. <laughs> Carve it up more. Use the thicker part, like this part, the, yeah. the, the bigger edge. This one? No, no, flip it. No, no, yeah. This one, the bigger one. edge. Yeah. It'll, it'll help you out a little bit. Wow. Ten minutes. Wait, flip it so you remember the hand. Is it this side? The other side, flip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I see. Oh, he holds the saw like... Like a lefty. Like Cobalt, Planet of the Apes or something like that. <laughs> you know what I want to know? Yeah. Where's the Cuban coffee in this struggle? <laughs> yeah, actually my, my seventh period one is fading, out, it's fading away. Yeah. Hold on. I'm getting better at this or not? Yeah. We just are carving too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Concentrating. Yeah. Yeah. Quintana's got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I actually exactly do. Enough. Exactly. Enough. <laughs> I need some Cuban coffee and an Advil. Mm -hmm. What? What? Yeah. Bamboozled. Yeah. The Lambo can help you now. I know. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta test it out. But, you know. I'm I think I'm gonna break. Can I finish and take my pumpkin home? My kids need one. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. Look at that guy. Look at that. You want me to finish yours? Maybe. No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Six minutes we got left? Yeah. 
Talking about the Colombian exchange. I see you. Silk Road. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, and then just to, just to compare to the design guys. No. How, how, how Our tools thing. are breaking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can I get one of these? <laughs> Sarah, why not? <laughs> this one's bent. No. What are the odds you found? But this cuts a lot better. This cuts a lot better. Our hands are getting close to each other. Um, what, what are the odds that someone ends up with, <laughs> with, with a severed finger? Yeah. I really want to take that home. Do you want it? I want it. Okay. My kids will love it. What's inside? What, is it is a, it's a light though, like a? It's like an artificial light. Like battery operated? Yes, sir. Is that you? My kids will freak out if they see it at the house. What did you do to this? Uh, I told you this guy has a, like a grip of a you know how long I've had oh. I really like your pumpkin, by the way. Angel did not do the outside. Where's the light? Let me see it. <laughs> So I'm gonna take that home if you don't mind. My kids will love it, and I'm gonna say that I carved it <laughs> so that I get some credit. Oh, I'm definitely saying that I carved that one. <laughs> Ours is more subdued. Let me see. Yours looks scary. Oh, okay. Oh. This is quite, quite terrifying. This is quite terrifying. Yeah. See that? For your first time, I've had it. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, she approves. Winner? Winner, winner? Winner? It's me. Angel's the winner. Yep. Angel. Oh, it's Angel. Angel. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to our new episode. Make sure to follow our Instagram at GHB underscore TV for any future updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Braddy TV. Also, make sure to watch our outro. Please stay safe this Halloween and enjoy your long weekend. Remember to make it happen with, with Braddock TV. TV.